downtown where you can get a date for 50, 60, 70, even 80% off the original social marketplace price. Coming to paperback and e-readers, John Haynes, Illuminati. The man who rules the world takes on the head of the global elite in this action-packed, all-new John Haynes series adventure. Pre-order your copy of John Haynes Illuminati on Amazon.com and online booksellers everywhere. A black woman was shocked about the cheeky response she got on a dating show. What's up, y'all? Sayana the Brad. You're talking to me. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> well, you know, I was just saying hi to the camera. What's your name? Brad. That's your real name? It's Sayana. I get it through six. Yeah, boy. You can see it from the front. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it yeah, idealistic? Yeah. 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 <laughs> My ideal. That word. Idealistic. Like, that's two different places where I would take you and my ideal date. Okay. So, which one you want to know? Both. Shit. You can get one. Mmm. <laughs> Wait, I'm a brat. I don't get one. You're you going to get one answer. One answer? Why not two? Uh, just come on. Okay. Um, go ahead. Where would you take me on our first date? You. If you dress like that, we're going to the crib first. And then we can do whatever after that. If it depending on how that go. <sighs> I know you didn't want me to get up there and lie to you. No, of course not. I don't like liars. Right. But question. Mm -hmm. Why would you be taking me to your house? Shit, what you want to go to a hotel or something? No. B and B. No. <laughs> Shit, car set like that too. Wait, oh my god, am I like selling sex to you? I mean, I just feel like you know, I look good, body look good, but it shouldn't. You make money. It shouldn't. Yeah, I make money. I'm a. You look real good. Right, like this is this is like walking beauty, but like you know, I have mad respect for myself. Where would you take me on a date? Is that your answer? After the crib. We can go get some food wherever you like. Where would you take me? I said wherever you like. I'm real like. Just whatever I want. Yeah. What if I want to go shopping? Damn, you're going to have to call somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to have to decline. But, you know, you got that shit on. So you I flash. Give, I give them a thesis? Um, when I walk away. Uh, yeah. Now, in this YouTube show, Nine Girls versus One Guy, this guy, Ace, is looking to choose a girl to go out on a date with. And he has to swipe between all of these nine women to pick the one he wants to go out on a date with. And the first girl he's gonna meet in this whole situation is a girl called Brat. Now, this girl called Brat seems to be spoiled by the culture of feminism because instead of her going to this meeting to make a strong impression on this guy Ace, what she does is dress to get attention, clicks, and views for herself on social media. And she comes to this meeting to dressed up with her face caked in makeup, a wig pasted on her head that's short and cropped, and she also comes with these eyebrows that are looking like Snuffleupagus from Sesame Street, and a bodysuit with a thong back showing off her butt cheeks, and some pants that are skin tight that are pulled down to show off more of her buttocks, and it's all about her getting attention for herself on social media, and not really about looking to make a connection with Ace. Now, Ace's reaction to Brat is basically he's caught up in just looking at her as a sexual object, and he never sees her as a person, and that's all based on what she presented to him. And as Brat goes on to talk to Ace, he's basically just looking at her as related to her body, 
and never really looking to get to know her at all. And as she opens her mouth, she basically shows that all she is basically is focusing everyone on her body because there's not much to her mind. Now, Brat basically asks a question in an ignorant fashion, asking what is his idealized date, showing me that she doesn't even have good vocabulary or any sort of intelligence because this use of the word idealized is just completely wrong grammatically. The actual question is, what is your ideal date? But the way she presented it basically showed that this woman has an empty head and the only thing that he, this guy was looking at her and not really seeing her as a suitable partner. And that was shown in his response to her where he told her he would just take her up to the crib and basically just have her drop that skid mark thong of that bodysuit, bend her over, get a taste of the atomic waste from the special place, then take her down to the Arab red and white chicken place and get her a two-piece chicken dinner, or he would take her over to the Chinese restaurant and get her a scrimp fried rice and chicken wings and then send her on her way. Now, this whole answer had this woman's eyes grow wide and surprised, and as she got shocked at this statement, at this man's statements, she thought that this man was basically showing her disrespect, but actu in actuality, what she did was basically send a message to this man that she wasn't anybody he should consider for a serious relationship. Now, the big problem here with this woman, Brat, is basically she's been spoiled by the system of feminism to believe she could do whatever she wanted in this world. And I go in depth on this in my book, why 70% of black women are single. And because she's got this whole sense of entitlement from these 60 years of feminism as a culture, she thinks she can do whatever she wants, not understanding for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. And you only get one chance to make a first impression on a man and if a man is seeing you out here presenting yourself in a hypersexualized fashion then he's not going to be interested in looking to pursue a serious relationship with you because on that first meeting a man is basically looking at you and thinking about whether or not he wants to consider you for in a serious relationship, but if you present yourself in a fashion where you're wearing a outfit that basically looks like something for a stripper or a prostitute, then that man isn't going to really consider you to be anybody who we want to consider pursuing any sort of further relationship with at seriously. And that's the thing that surprised this woman who got in her feelings when he told her all he would do is take her up to his apartment, smash her, buy her a two-piece chicken dinner or some scrimp fried rice and some chicken wings and send her on her way. But she was the one who basically put herself in that whole situation because she was the one who presented this image of herself and it didn't help that she said that she was out here possibly with an OnlyFans website or some other website where she's out here posing to take pictures. She wasn't leaving a strong impression on this man that she was somebody he should really consider for dating at all. I mean, if I saw that very same woman on that show, I wouldn't even consider her at all. She would be swiped away before I even were able to ask her any questions, and I would swipe her away because this woman basically is showing me by the way she is dressed and the way she is carrying and conducting herself that she isn't somebody I would want to even consider at all. And that's where I differ from Ace. I would just basically say no to this woman, 
who was so caught up in her ego about the way this guy talked to her that she wanted to reject him, but she didn't already see that she basically blew her chance before she even got it. And this is the same mindset that many feminist indoctrinated women have out here. Many of the feminist indoctrinated women, they go out here thinking that they are some sort of prize, but when guys look at them, they just see somebody who has a social marketplace value that's lower than a $5 food stamp without the book. Because when you're out here dressed like a prostitute or a stripper, and you're thinking this is going to impress some dude, no, that's not going to impress a man of character, because a man of character, when he looks at you and gets a first impression of you, he's not seeing a woman who he wants to be a reflection of him, because what you're, ref what you're presenting to the world is the image of a lady of the evening or a lady who has low moral character. That's what this woman was presenting to Ace in that, um, in that meeting. She was not presenting an image of a woman that would reflect positively on a man because if you're out here by yourself and you're dressing up with your butt cheeks hanging out and basically showing yourself to the world, what you're showing a man is that you have low moral character and you have no intangibles of womanhood such as dignity, self-respect, or self-worth. And these are the values that men are looking for when they want to consider a woman to be a wife. When a man wants to consider a woman to be his wife, he's looking for certain things as related to a woman's morals and character. And I go in depth on this in my book, Why 70% of Black Women Are Single. And many women who have been indoctrinated into feminism think that sex sells but no, sex doesn't sell to a man. Yes, men are visual and we like to look at a big butt or some nice breasts in, a, in an outfit, but we don't want to see all of our lady out here in, in, in public like that. No, we like to see that in private for ourselves and we want that in private as related to our intimate relationship but when you're out here shaking it in the street, we got to look at you with a side eye. And we got to look at you with a side eye because that's, that's not something we want reflected on us because it says that that man is weak and any man who gets involved with that woman is weak because a man of character doesn't want to have his woman out here showing everything off to the world because it shows that this woman really cannot reflect positively on that man's image and reflect positively on him enough to respect him to present an image of herself that is respectable. And that's the big mistake that this woman brat wound up making because she has been spoiled by feminism She's been spoiled by feminism to think that she can do whatever she wants, not understanding the consequences of her actions are the thing that would lead to her not being seen as anybody a guy would consider for a serious relationship. Now, I'm no fan of these dating shows like this, but they do really prove a point as related to male-female relationships. And when you go out here and present yourself in a negative fashion, you can't get upset when you get a negative reaction. Now, this woman basically thought, oh, this guy was a jerk for saying what he said, but this he was only saying what a guy would say when he runs into this kind of woman. When you sell sex, basically guys see you in a sexualized fashion, and they don't really see you as somebody they take seriously. Because if you want to be taken seriously, you're going to present yourself in a serious way that commands respect. And when you command respect, you're going to be dealing with 
higher level men of character, not dealing with guys like Ace, who look kind of effeminate to me, but you'll be dealing with quality men of character, and that's where you want to go, because those men are not looking to waste precious time, and time is extremely precious in the social marketplace. You don't want to waste time going out here and going to places like these dating shows, where you're and presenting yourself like this because you only get one chance at a first impression and this woman basically blew her first chance and now she's basically put herself on a road to bust downtown if she doesn't correct course because the way she presented herself showed us that she is going to be soon on the road to bust downtown going from a high social marketplace value to being in bus downtown for 50, 60, 70, even 80% off the original social marketplace price. And this is all due to her getting a complete miseducation as related to interpersonal and social relationships and possibly not getting nurtured by her father and this is the, what happens happened to so many young women. They haven't gotten that good foundation in how to socialize. And that's why you see a lady going out here participating in antisocial behavior. This woman thought, oh, I'm going to go on this show to get attention for herself. Not understanding there's a difference between positive and negative attention. And when you go out here and you present yourself in a negative way, you wind up getting negative attention for yourself. And when you do this, you shouldn't be embarrassed by the reaction that you get. And when you go out here showing your butt cheeks to the world, all they see is that 66 inch rear end. And sadly, when this woman started talking and he made eye contact with her, she showed everyone that she didn't have much inside of her head because she had this idealized picture of herself that showed that she had no articulation, no diction at all, and no way of understanding even how to talk in a basic way to a man because when you go and approach a man and you just are all about your ass, basically you're showing him that he should see you from the waist down, not the neck up. And sadly, as she showed off all of her flash, she showed she had no substance at all. And this is the sad state of affairs of this woman. And sadly, she didn't see where she was making her mistakes, mistakes that will make her another part of the 70% of black women who will be single for the rest of their lives. Now, if you want to learn how to avoid being like one of these 70% of black women who are single, you can pick up my book, Why 70% of Black Women Are Single, on Amazon.com in paperback and Kindle format. You can also find Why 70% of Black Women Are Single at other online booksellers like Smashwords, the iBook Store, Google Play, and Barnes and & Noble. And if you want to learn why so many women like this act like this because the reason why they act like this is because these women have been socialized to become feminist and not really women you can find out more about that in my other book the woman crisis which is available in paperback and candle format on amazon.com and you can also find that book at other online booksellers like smashwords the ibook store google play and barnes and noble and if you want to see me make more videos talking about dating, and relationships, and learn how to break out of these dysfunctional paradigms, you can send a donation to the Patreon, the PayPal, or the Cash App by clicking the links in the description box. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe. Now available in paperback. From the author of the critically acclaimed book, The Man Crisis, comes The Woman Crisis. Learn why so many women have become lost in their quest to have it all in The Woman Crisis. Get your copy of The Woman Crisis in paperback at Amazon.com and online booksellers today. Now available for the first time in paperback, why 70% of black women are single. Learn all the reasons why so many black women can't find a husband, why 70% of black women are single. Get your copy of why 70% of black women are single on Amazon.com today. 
Support Black-owned and Black-operated digital broadcast media. www.niceradionetwork.com Nice Radio Network, broadcasting 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.